As the dawn broke on the morning of 9th November, it had just passed high water at Cromer. The North Sea surge was affecting the whole of the East Anglian coast, and the waves had already done their worst on the seafront at Cromer. On the West Promenade, all the wooden beach huts had been swept into the sea and debris was spread along the promenade. Reports from the East Beach indicated that there had likewise been severe damage to the beach huts. The main doors of the lifeboat museum had been damaged and lifted from their rollers, but there was apparently limited water damage within the museum and the most valuable of the exhibits had already been removed to a place of safety. The first inspection of the pier indicated relatively light damage to the decking, but the newly installed and heightened wave impact resisting doors on the lifeboat house had suffered, as might be expected in these extraordinary conditions. The first section of the promenade had been built in the 1830s after just such a sea surge. It is difficult to comprehend what might have happened to the cliffs had the protection not been in place on this occasion. The opinion of those along the front in the early hours was that this was the most severe battering the promenade had taken since the great 1953 storm. <laughs> 